acid reflux, baking soda, and why I don't like my patients to take baking soda to treat GERD. Hi guys, it's Dr. Veronica with Crazy Healthy Ideas, what you can do to stay healthy. I already pre-draw our digestive tract for you. This is our mouth and the teeth. This is esophagus. At the end of the esophagus, between the esophagus and the stomach, we have low esophageal sphincter. At the end of the stomach, we have pylorus. Our stomach is producing hydrochloric acid, HCl. Inside the stomach, it dissociates fast into hydrogen ion and chloride anion. This hydrogen ion determines the acidity in the stomach, and it's very high acidity because we need to break down the food as particular proteins that come into our mouth from nuts, seeds, dairy, meat, and fish. Also, this acidity will, or acid, hydrochloric acid, will kill the bacteria that come into our digestive tract because our food never can be absolutely sterile. So bacteria, viruses, fungus that, that get killed by hydrochloric acid and particular is to be precise by this hydrogen um, ion. Now, sometimes patients have acid reflux or GERD. It means that there is an inflammation here in the esophagus and they feel like a burning sensation in the esophagus. And what they decide to do, they will take a baking soda, usually two tablespoons in spoons in water. And baking soda is nothing else but sodium bicarbonate. Sodium, and this is bicarbonate, oh, three, which is weak substance and inside our stomach will dissociate into sodium ion and bicarbon HCO3 anion. Inside the stomach, chloride anion will get combined with sodium and basically will form a salt, sodium chloride. Hydrogen ion cannot float there unattached, and it will get combined together with bicarbon. And it will form carbonic acid, H2CO3, which is very weak acid, and almost immediately will dissociate into water and gas. And this is the gas that you burp if you take, as the burping gas, that, uh, uh, that come out when you take a baking soda. So you can see that result of taking baking soda, as a result, you will have three substances in your stomach, salt, water, and gas. So there is no more hydrochloric acid, which will kill bacteria, viruses, and fungus here in our stomach. As a result, they will go into small intestine, and they will go and start to populate also large intestine. As a result, patients will come and complain, and the clinical presentation is going to be abdomen, abdominal pain, gas, uh, sometimes diarrhea, and constipation, or both diarrhea and constipation together, which we called, we called IBS, or irritable bowel syndrome. So you understand the concept why, as a naturopathic physician, I absolutely do not like when my patients will uh, take baking soda to deal with acid reflux. It's a good idea to identify why you have acid reflux or, or burning sensation and deal with that, um, once when you know the cause, you can find the solution very easy. Baking soda is not the solution, is not the treatment. 
for acid reflex. Okay, guys, thank you for listening. Stay healthy. This is Dr. Veronica, and ask me any kind of question. I'm here for you to answer all your questions. Thank you. Bye-bye.